warning this video is full of spoilers from various mcu movies this video is about one in a 14 million 605 winning possibility seen by doctor strange in avengers infinity war and the plan made by him to win the final battle in avengers end game as we all know in the movie infinity war doctor strange saw 14 million 605 possibilities of the upcoming conflict and only one of them resulted in the win there were possibilities where doctor strange gets killed but in those possibilities the result of the fight remains unknown so the winning possibility has the first and the foremost thing in the place doctor strange lived till the final fight to see it all he may or may not have seen the five years depending on how the rules of the magic work but he did see the final fight and the winning scenario so a possibility of doctor strange getting killed and avengers winning would not be accessible to doctor strange himself because of the rules defined in the doctor strange movie i've spent so many years peering through time looking at this exact moment but i can't see past it I think this is where you die there may be more possibilities to the fight but we will never know as doctor strange mentioned that he went forward to see all the possible outcomes of the upcoming conflict how many did you see 14,605 but never confirmed if these were all the possibilities of the upcoming fight the objective of the fight on titan was to take the gauntlet from thanos and prevent him from doing the snap but then star lord screwed it up or was that a part of a plan All the Avengers on Titan and Wakanda were trying to prevent Thanos from doing the snap and turning half the living beings in the universe into the dust. But was that the right approach? Here's the thing though. The snap had to happen. Only after the intended snap, Thanos would do another snap. A second snap that reduces all the infinity stones to the atomic level. Yes, they are not destroyed. Gone. reduced to atom their existence is what makes the universe bind the infinity stones create what you experience as the flow of time reducing the infinity stones to atom just make sure that the power of that level can never be weaponized again the stones will exist in this universe but that's all they will do exist infinity stones in itself are a lot of power and in the wrong hands it could always be a problem every stone in itself has a power way beyond anything that the universe has ever seen the space stone could open up portals and disintegrate humans the power stone could destroy civilizations the mind stone could control anything with the mind so on and so forth the sorcerers of the kamartaj are bound to the time stone and they will protect it at all costs avengers were protecting the mind stone to protect vision So the best possibility according to Doctor Strange was where all the infinity stones are reduced to the atoms. That would ensure no one in the universe including Thanos can use the infinity stones again. Sure the sorcerers won't be able to use it too. But now that the universe knows about the existence of infinity stones, it is best that they are hidden. And what better way to hide them than to reduce them to atoms? None of the Avengers would have done the snap to destroy the infinity stones. it had to be thanos and he would have done it only after completing his grand plan also in infinity war doctor strange says to see all the possible outcomes of the coming conflict he never mentioned thanos in that line at all maybe the conflict he was referring to was the wars the wars that would take place once the universe knows about the existence of infinity stones that's if thanos is killed before he destroys the stones Thanos went after the stones only after knowing where all of them were. Before that, nobody in the universe knew of all the six stones at once. If Thanos gets killed by the Avengers and a bigger villain like Galactus takes the Infinity Stones or Tony Stark experiments on the Infinity Stones and screws up again, the Avengers will win the battle against Thanos, but ultimately they will lose. So the upcoming conflict could only have been avoided if the infinity stones were out of the equation so the snap for decimation just like thanos was inevitable i am inevitable now the important question is when exactly should the snap for decimation happen thanos had promised that the snap will turn half the universe into dust at random dispassionate 
unfair to the rich and poor alike. But the random was not exactly random. He spared Thor, Nebula, and Tony Stark as an exchange at different moments in Infinity War, and they survived the snap. So, does random mean different people being marked in the different moments of time? As we all know, the five hours that Scott Lang spent in Quantum Realm were the most crucial to the plot. It was because of that time he spent when he realized that five years have passed in the real world. As per the possibilities that Doctor Strange saw, two things were supposed to be crucial at the moment of snap. At the moment of snap, Scott Lang should have been in the Quantum Realm and all the three people, that is Hank Pym, Janet Van Dyne and Hope Van Dyne, should have been dusted. So the snap should occur in those 30 seconds when Scott enters the Quantum Realm and tries to exit it. So when the snap happens, Nick Fury and Maria Hill senses that there is something wrong and Maria Hill starts to decimate. That's when Fury uses the pager to call Captain Marvel. Calling Captain Marvel here makes sense because if you look through the eyes, sorry. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot to look at the patch of the eye. How does Fury even see these? He turns. Sounds exhausting. If you look through the eye of Nick Fury, this is the first time when he was clueless what to do. The Chitauri attack or the Ultron uprising could have been fought. But half the universe disappearing means that this is the emergency where earthly powers are not enough. This is where Captain Marvel needs to interfere. So he pages her while saying, just before he decimates to ashes. Again, Doctor Strange calculates the exact moment when these two occurrences, that is Scott entering the quantum realm and Fury paging Captain Marvel, happens simultaneously and he proceeds with his grand plan. The chances of that are astronomically small. And so that brings us to the next question. What were the steps taken to ensure that the snap happens at the exact same moment when Scott Lang is inside the Quantum Realm? When the battle on Titan was happening, the plan of Doctor Strange was not to prevent the snap. It was to stall Thanos for enough time that by the time Thanos reaches Earth, Wanda removes the Mind Stone from Vision, Thanos with his Time Stone can reverse time and complete the gauntlet by taking the Mind Stone from Vision's head. Strange precisely knew Thor would hit Thanos with Stormbreaker in his chest so that he could look into the eye of his enemy as he kills the enemy. Doctor Strange knew that moment would be the exact moment when Doctor Hank Pym with both the Wasps has opened the portal and Scott Lang is inside the Quantum Realm. If you look at it, the entire Wakanda battle from the point where Thanos arrives to the point where Thanos does the snap, no time is wasted. Things go exactly the same. Everybody attempts to stop Thanos and he traps them using all the stones. Cap holds Thanos for a moment and Thanos is shocked. Then Thanos hits Cap. The only point where time matters is the point where Wanda is destroying Vision. If she succeeds, Thanos can bring him back by the time stone. Thor attacks, snap happens. And if she doesn't succeed, Thanos does the snap quicker and Scott does not go into the quantum realm. So Doctor Strange makes sure that Thanos fights on Titan for long enough that Wanda can destroy Vision. The moment of Time Stone handover is very precise. Strange knew that the outcome of the fight in Titan doesn't matter. Whether it is Quill getting emotional or a moon being thrown on the team. In the end, Thanos will win the battle. And he should win the battle. If the stones are to be destroyed, he should. Strange was never a follower of rules to begin with. He knew the difference between the right and the wrong without following the rules of the Kamartaj. Case in point... Dormammu, i come to bargain. Strange knew that the best way to protect the Time Stone was when it is reduced to atoms. Nobody can use it, not even him. If Strange wanted to protect Tony Stark for saving him for the final snap, he would have not let Tony fight at all. But Strange knew that Tony was the only person who can make Thanos bleed, even if that was a drop of blood. All that for a drop of blood. After all this, Thanos had a clear plan to get the Time Stone 
and Doctor Strange had the time stone. So for the battle to stop, either Strange gives up the stone or Thanos kills Strange and all the other superheroes on Titan and takes the stone. Either way, Strange had the upper hand as he knew that he would give away the stone but not so soon. Every superhero fights their best to defeat Thanos and prevent the snap. And Doctor Strange knows that's what he needs. He needs everyone fighting at their best despite knowing that they won't win. All of this was just to stall time. Finally, when all the superheroes are knocked out, there is a man in the can still fighting with all that he has got, making sure that he ensures Thanos doesn't win. Strange only interferes when he knows Stark has fought enough to stall time and the next blow of Thanos will definitely kill Tony Stark. He bargains Tony Stark's life with the time stone. He said, You have to understand, if it comes to saving you or the kid or the time stone, I will not hesitate to let either of you die. But all of that was before knowing the one possibility which will lead to the win. Now with the knowledge that he had, he knew that the only way to preserve the universe is to save Tony's life. There are certain things in the future that only Tony Stark can do. He has to build a nanotech gauntlet, he has to invent time travel, and he has to manipulate that nanotech in the final fight when Thanos is fighting against Iron Man. Tony may not have the strength to wield the Infinity Stones, but only he has the mind not only to create a vessel to harness the power of the stones, but also manipulate the vessel if it falls into the wrong hands. Thanos is way too powerful when it comes to snatching the gauntlet. But removing the stones from a gauntlet, a gauntlet that was created by Tony while fighting Thanos, that's what Tony Stark does. He makes a plan of attack while he attacks. We need a plan of attack. I have a plan. Attack. That's what makes Tony Stark what he is. That's why I am Iron Man. And by taking all that into account, Doctor Strange ensures that at the right moment, by giving away the Time Stone, he can take the fight in the endgame, where things will come at a halt indefinitely until a mouse interrupts. The 5-year gap could have been a 2-year gap or a 10-year gap and still the outcome would have been same. Thanos retires and has all the Infinity Stones including the Time Stone. He knows that the Avengers will come to the garden and Thor will go for his head. But that's all the future he can see. He cannot see past this moment just like the Ancient One could not see the future past one point in time. The point where she dies. Thanos can't see a future where Avengers undo everything that he did because this Thanos doesn't have a future. The time heist happens and all the Infinity Stones are bought back from various timelines. Again, here's a question. Why didn't Avengers go to the garden where Thanos was resting after the first snap and take all the six stones at once? I think I have an explanation for that. The stones, once taken from a timeline, will have to be returned back to the timeline as they create what people experience as a flow of time. If not returned, the flow of time may split, creating a branched reality. If Avengers take the stone from the garden, then they'll have to return it back to Thanos for him to do a second snap and reduce them to atoms. If Thanos loses the stone and then he gets them back, he will definitely know that the first snap was undone. This may prompt him to do the snap again, this time destroying the entire universe and starting a new one from the scratch. I know what I must do. I will shred this universe down to its last atom. Thanos was powerful enough to snap twice and still survive. Unlike Hulk, who luckily survived only because of the gamma radiation that was emitted from Infinity Stones. But the radiation is mostly gamma. It's like... Uh, I was made for this. So the stones had to be taken from time periods where Thanos did not have them. So going back to the Battle of New York in 2012, Asgard in 2013, and Morag and Vormir in 2014, also further back in time in 1970, was a better decision than going to the garden. It would be easier 
to return the stones back there instead of returning them directly back to Thanos. The time heist happens and the nano gauntlet is filled with all the stones. And everyone dusted in the first snap is brought back to life when Hulk does the snap. Then comes the final fight where literally everybody, okay, not everybody, but you get the point. The ultimate showdown takes place. Thanos and all the heroes that we have ever seen. This is where Strange meets Stark and Stark asks, You said one out of 14 million we win, yeah? I mean, this is it. If I tell you what happens, it won't happen. He says this because a lot of variables are still at play. But then comes a moment when the gauntlet is wielded by Thanos and he defeats Captain Marvel, the strongest contender in Team Avengers. That's when the Earth's greatest defender knows that only he can step up to the occasion. In that moment, Strange points a finger. This may be due to the fact that Strange already knows Tony's next move. He won't take the gauntlet, but he will take the stones and improvise by making a gauntlet using his Mark 85 armor. Also as shown, if Captain Marvel could not get the gauntlet from Thanos, who can? But the stones? They could be transferred as both the things, the gauntlet and the Mark 85 suit are nanotech. Iron Man would use technology against Thanos. Technology which was created by Iron Man. Technology which makes Iron Man the strongest contender. Doctor Strange confirms him by saying that this is the only way. The only possibility where we win. In this scene, everything that Strange says to Stark is in one look. You will die, but you will succeed. The Avengers will win and this threat will be eliminated once and for all. Now that Stark knows that his next move will be successful, he delivers the final line with a swag. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video, comment your views, share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel.